It's Tanner with Cruisely.com, and for weeks, the headlines about coronavirus and cruising have dominated the news, with several ships either being quarantined or having trouble porting to disembark passengers. It's been a big story. Of course, with so much going on with cruising and the coronavirus, it's understandable that people have a lot of questions about their upcoming trips. Can you cancel your cruise? Will you get the coronavirus on a cruise? And what if someone else gets sick on the ship? I'll answer all these questions right now. Let's start off with the big question that a lot of people have. Can I cancel my cruise if I'm worried about the coronavirus? First things first, keep in mind that the information regarding cancellation policies for cruises can change quickly in this environment. In fact, a new case of coronavirus thought to be contracted aboard a US-based ship sailing from California was just announced, and it's not clear yet how cruise lines are going to respond regarding cancellation policies for cruises in the region. Now, that said, you can cancel a cruise at any time, just like normal, but it doesn't mean you're going to get a full refund simply because the coronavirus is in the news. Right now, the majority of cruises, you'll get your money back according to the cruise line's normal refund schedule. If the cruise is far enough out, that could mean most or all your money back. But for cruises that are close to the sale date, you usually see lower refund amounts. Just be aware that the situation is ongoing and can change almost in an instant. The latest information about your specific cruise is going to come from your cruise line. Number two, can I cancel for a refund if I've already bought travel insurance? If you have travel insurance and decide to cancel, refunds are going to depend on your specific policy. Most plans have a set list of predetermined reasons that you can cancel a trip and be compensated, such as illness or death, but simply canceling because of what could happen normally is not covered. That said, some policies offer cancel for any reason coverage. It typically costs a bit more and has some stipulations, but it could offer you compensation if you decide to cancel your trip. If you have this sort of cancel for any reason coverage, you might be able to cancel and get some money back. Travel insurer AIG says if you've purchased cancel for any reason coverage, you could be covered for a percentage of the loss depending on the level of coverage purchased and provided the trip is canceled more than 48 hours prior to departure. But before you cancel, very important, double check your policy to make sure that your situation qualifies. Number three, who can't sail on a cruise right now due to the coronavirus? Cruise lines are denying boarding to certain passengers. Now, the specific policies of each cruise line, they differ slightly, but they are largely similar. Cruise lines now have a general policy of denying boarding to the following passengers. Number one, anyone who has been to, including through airports, China, Hong Kong, Macau, South Korea, or Italy within at least 14 days before embarkation, as well as anyone who has been in contact with someone that has the coronavirus. The second thing that will get you denied boarding is anyone who doesn't pass a pre-boarding medical evaluation if it's called for by the cruise line. This usually means showing signs of respiratory illness or flu-like symptoms. That said, some cruise lines are instituting more stringent requirements, including denying passengers who have been in contact with anyone that's traveled to coronavirus hotspots even if the person isn't sick. Other cruise lines are denying boarding to passengers who have been to affected regions in the past 30 days just to be on the safe side. So that's 30 days instead of the 14, that is a general rule. Now your cruise line should be in contact regarding who will be denied boarding due to the coronavirus. You can also visit their website to see the latest restrictions. So what happens if you are denied boarding? If you are denied, hopefully it will not happen at the cruise port. Cruise lines have posted advisories on their websites spelling out exactly who can and cannot sail. If you think you fall into one of these groups, it's best to call your cruise line well ahead of time and let them know. They should be able to get you squared away and that way you don't have to travel all the way to the port. That said, if you are denied boarding due to the rules around coronavirus, then you should receive a full refund on your cruise fare. As Norwegian Cruise Line says on their website, guests who are denied boarding will be issued a refund when they provide proof of travel. Be sure to ask your cruise line for more specifics if this is going to apply to you. Question five is a big one that a lot of people have. Will I get coronavirus on my cruise? Now keep in mind, we are not medical experts, 
but given the millions of people cruising, the chances of any one specific person coming down with the illness still appear small. That said, we have seen coronavirus on cruise ships and the virus continues to spread to more countries. That means the risk could increase. In fact, a California man that sailed on a princess cruise from San Francisco in mid-February has now died from the coronavirus. The fear is that he was exposed on the ship and that other passengers may have been as well. Remember, just like a stomach bug that hits a cruise ship, just because one ship has it doesn't mean every ship will. Even so, this new news is worrisome. The risk seems low, but it's not zero. Now, what if you were on a cruise and someone else gets sick on the ship? Keep in mind that it's not just your own health that can impact your cruise. Should someone else on your ship come down with or be suspected of having coronavirus, it could cause issues. The stories of extended quarantines and no approval to dock for cruises in Asia are well known. We've also seen some of this in the Caribbean. On these cruises, perfectly healthy passengers were caught up in the situation and it affected their vacation. Just keep this in mind that this is a possibility that cannot be ruled out. Another big question that a lot of cruise passengers are asking is what can they do to stay healthy on their cruise? Now we all want to stay fit and healthy during our vacation and with headlines around coronavirus, it's especially top of mind. The recommendations from the World Health Organization are simple. Wash your hands regularly or use hand sanitizer and avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. As well, keep your distance from anyone who is coughing or sneezing. These are very basic things you can do to stay healthy. On the ship, you'll find sinks for hand washing. You'll also find sanitizer all around the ship to keep your hands clean. It's a good idea to go ahead and use them throughout the day, and most importantly, before eating. Perhaps the biggest question that people have about the coronavirus and cruising right now is when will things get back to normal? Unfortunately, nobody knows. While some metrics show that there's progress as the infections in China do appear to be slowing, the virus continues to spread around the world. This includes flare-ups in Italy and a spread to South Korea. As of now, Royal Caribbean Spectrum of the Seas, which is a China-based cruise ship that had several trips canceled, is scheduled to sail from Shanghai at the beginning of April. The Diamond Princess, which we all know was quarantined and had a lot of people get sick, has its next cruise scheduled for late April. So there is some hope that in a month or two, maybe things will start getting back to normal. Truth is though, only time will tell if the outbreak is under control enough to let these ships resume sailing or if more outbreaks cause more issues in the future. Finally, wrapping up, where should I go for updates on the coronavirus and its impact on my cruise? Now, there are tons of media sources out there and lots of headlines and stories, but the best place for updates on your specific cruise is going to be your cruise line. Since each line has its own rules about who can and can't sail, and they make their own decisions about canceling or adjusting itineraries, they should be the source for information about your specific trip. Your cruise line can also answer questions about cancellations or refunds if your sailing is impacted by the virus.